Hi, I'm uh, Francis uh, here with Christopher Eigelhart uh, with Eigelhart uh, Frames and um, Frames and Forks. Frames and Forks, yeah. And uh, he's here to show us a, a very interesting bike here. Uh, Christopher, why don't you okay, well, show us what we have? Um, this is a, a Life, um, a, a Columbus Life Tube um, 29er with uh, Paragon sliders, um, disc, disc mount, it's a single speed. Um, it's a it's a pretty light bike. It's got uh, uh, Chris King was very kind and lent us some hubs. I mean, uh, so, some wheels for the show. Uh huh. So it ends up being a pretty light bike. Right. Um, Ron Andrews and this King Cages is an old old friend. King Cage, yeah. right? Yeah. You know them. And um, mm -hmm. I always do little features. I put the serial numbers, uh, the person's initials on the bottom bracket shell. Wow. So, wow. And I make my own seat collars. Yeah, I noticed that seat collar. Yeah, forward yeah. facing and uh, yeah. and polished. Um, mm -hmm. I scrap. Um, I'm, I'm always looking for scrap stainless steel, and and most of the stainless I use uh, beer. Either, uh, it was near beer or had beer flowing through it. So, <laughs> uh, uh, okay, it went through a good life, huh? Yeah. So uh, right. uh, keep the um, uh, keep the vibe going, as one would say. Yeah, definitely. Is this your head badge over here? Yeah. Yep, yeah, it's an eye. An eye. I gotcha. Yeah. That's great. Very refreshing. Um, no, normally, um, this side is for the cables to hit it. Uh huh. Um, so you don't uh, take the paint off of uh, off your head tube. Right. Right. This being a rigid um, with a 29er, I feel you still get it. Um, it's a comfortable ride. Right. That's, that's a big fat chunk of suspension in itself. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I ride a uh, a rigid 29er myself, and. Uh, it uh, it's definitely smoother than my 26 rigid so yeah uh, it, we're gonna test to that anything else that we missed on the bike um the fork is is a a, a traditional new england design uh -huh. so it's called the new england the traditional new england segmented fork um i've upgraded it with a, with a little thicker wall on the it's a heat treated fork leg um struts and even the cap uh -huh. and it's got um paragon um, flat, flat dropouts, and over on the other side is a uh, uh, a Paragon disc mount. Mm -hmm. So, I, do you want me to pick it up? Would that help? And it's um, I uh, the fork business is quite um, so, uh, uh, keeps me in um, in in in, um, in cat food anyway. So. <laughs> right, right. So you sell you sell uh, your share of forks, huh? Yeah. Great. And people are looking for, 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 for rigid a lot. So. Uh huh. Yeah, rigid and steel. Rigid has really got a resurgence with um, with the bigger wheels. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's made yeah. it more comfortable and, and yeah. a lot. I, I, I've been I've made a few um, 26 inch rear uh, 29 fronts. Right. So set along Davis's line. Right. Right. Those work out as well. 